Well, hello, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today's topic is WTF. Oh, and it's not the WTF you might think of, but it certainly could apply in this case. This is what the feeling? What the feeling? Now, I know, I know, you empaths, we all feel, feel, feel with our heart space, and mostly what we are feeling at times is overwhelm. Our heart cup is overflowing, and not in a good way. It's as though we have been constantly battered by high winds and heavy rains, and we are just tired. The energy of our emotions and our feelings aren't even able to be separated into one identifying factor or marker or piece to pull out for understanding. At times, the feelings can be so much that they become numbing. Do you understand what this state is that I'm talking about? This numbing state where there's so much that you're not even sure how you feel. I want you to understand that during those times, there's nothing wrong with you. During those times when you feel this way, these ways, that one of the dominant feelings might come out, assessments rather, that, oh, I'm lonely, or, oh, I'm depressed, or, oh, I'm disconnected. All of these things could be true, but the reality is that these are just labels that are used to describe this feeling state where you have overfelt and overfelt and overfelt for so, so long. a a barrage of feelings of anger, of frustration, of discontent, of unhappiness, of turbulence, of conflict, of, of, of energy mixed in with opportunities for learning and growth and change. We can make sense with our mind of feelings. In fact, we often do when we work through the psychology of things. This is a good thing. This is, this is a very, can be a very helpful thing to make sense with the mind of the feelings. Yet, at the same time, we must realize that the feelings on their own, the feelings, the multiple different colored feelings, vibrations that we feel, the conflicted feelings, I feel this way and I feel that way, that seem totally opposite, that all of these feelings, they belong in their own right. They have earned space in your energy field. And they deserve a platform to have a voice. These individual feelings deserve their own individual attention. In fact, one by one, as they come forward and request to be heard, That is the easiest, most effective way to work with them, to allow them. So often they simply need to be voiced and that releases the tension or the pressure of the feeling. The overwhelm starts to subside and then you have felt. You have allowed an emotion without judgment of the mind, without the need to fix it from the mind, without the need for assessment from the mind, without the need to connect the patterns, connect the dots and understand if there's a bigger issue going on here. Of course, there's a bigger issue going on here. You are living life. What the feeling gives you a, mm, perhaps a new way to acknowledge the step-by-step, the being in the moment, true power connection of emotion, of understanding that the energy of these feelings, they matter. 
because the way you feel matters. And right now you might have so many feelings that they're mixing together. Have you ever painted something and looked at your water cup Over time, regardless of if you're using those pretty pastel pinks or those vibrant blues or that gorgeous sunshine yellow, your water cup turns a muddy, mucky brown. Variations of this muddy, mucky brown. And that's exactly what's happening in your feelings, at your heart. They're meshing together. And they're turning a muddy, mucky brown. Regardless of what you are actually expressing to the world, what you're able to function in your roles and your relationships and your life and your job and your marriage and your, and your parenthood, etc. What's left in your water bowl, <laughs> your water cup, is the muddy, mucky brown. You deserve a nice, clean cup of water, don't you? Yes, you do. So let us allow emotion to be not identified or labeled, but to be its own thing. Let it have some space and room. And one way you can do that when you have these what the feelings moments is to just breathe. Breathe into the space. Create the expansion. Yeah, I know. You're probably thinking, oh, yeah, great. Thanks, Bridget. That's real. Um, innovative, breathe. The point is of the breath is to create an imagery of your heart opening up, your chest literally drawing in that air and expands it out and creates a platform of room energetically. So breath, actually air element, creates room, it creates space. And that's what's needed for each of these feelings to be having some space to move about. They're not necessarily coming in to have a, give you a message, some big insights so you can change your life. The feelings are just there as a part of life, a sensory energy as an empathic being, which you are clearly. It is not designed to distract you or numb you or overpower you. Feeling is designed to give you additional additional ways to express and understand yourself to be in the most important relationship of your life, which is the relationship with you, you as a human being and as an energy being, as a spiritual being. And this heart space, this emotional place needs a lot of room. It needs to be like a huge gymnasium where your feelings can express and move without judgment without fear of judgment, without the mind having to make them better, deciding if they're right or wrong or good or bad. There's no room for that here. You just need to breathe open the space to let the energy of the emotions be expressed as individual energy. Just try this. Just try this awareness. Just touch your heart and open it up. Breathe in to the chest and let there be room for your individual feelings without judgment. Let them have freedom. This is the freedom that you want. This is the free energy, the free spirit energy, the desire that you have to just be yourself. It's right here. And allowing your emotions to just be known and be present and have a place to express. If you want to cry, you can cry. If you're at work and you want to cry, go in the bathroom and cry. Cry. Get it out. Let it express. There are so many ways that our emotions are are expressed and can be expressed and channeled into art, into writing, into journaling, into singing, into movement, into activity. There's so many ways. Just allowing them to be there without having to suppress them or push them away or categorize them and stuff them in a drawer for some someday, sometime, go away, just go away. Yeah, that's not going to work very well long term. That's not a good plan, you hoarder, <laughs> you emotional feelings hoarder. I can say all these things because this is exactly what I wrestle with myself. I have struggle just because I'm a psychic and an intuitive coach. 
doesn't mean I don't have struggle with these things as well. Very, very much so in the past few weeks, it's been like that. And sometimes it's worse than others. And that's just the way it is. When we have not allowed ourselves to have our emotions and our feelings without comparison to other people's, without somebody else needs more, somebody else has it worse than I am. I should be grateful. I should be. I'm not sick. I'm not this. I'm not that. I'm lucky. So therefore, I don't feel. Luck has nothing to do with feelings. Personal circumstance or situation has nothing to do with your true feelings. Your feelings are your feelings no matter what they are. It doesn't have anything to do with the outside circumstances of the world and you should feel this way or you should feel that way. That's your brain helping you to fit in. And, and you can do that, don't worry, by you letting yourself have your individual feeling and space for your feeling. You're not going to lose your mind. You're not going to go crazy and just be run by your heart instead of your head. There's always negotiation in decision making and such and all of the processes of life. It's all integrated. But these feelings, yeah, they matter. It'll go a long way for you to let your individual feelings be be known. Let them be known. Let them have a place to just roam, to be. And then you will see that the intensity of the overall feeling of overwhelm will definitely subside. It'll soften. And I want that for you. I do. This is Bridget. Thank you so much for listening to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I look forward to staying connected with you on Facebook at Bridget Inspired, on Instagram at Bridget Inspired, on YouTube at Above Life Channel, and on my vlogging channel, Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube.